Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a special new release for you today, especially if you know a little bit about beauty here on YouTube, and I'm guessing you do, and that is we have the new Tiny Marbles palette done especially with Sydney Grace by YouTube's own Mel Thompson. Mel Thompson needs no introduction, of course, but I will link her channel below. She is an extraordinarily, extraordinarily talented makeup artist and YouTuber in her own right. I am wearing her lip collection that she did with Christian Audette a little earlier this year. So she is no stranger to creating amazing makeup and she has done it again, this time with Sydney Grace. Uh, and if you know anything about independent makeup brands, Sydney Grace has the most beautiful formula, just uh, uh, gorgeous and creamy and dreamy, and we're going to recreate this look today. We're going to look at this palette too and do some swatches. So when I thought about how many looks to do, well, well, let me just show you. This is like, this palette is like walking into an ice cream parlor with a 10 year old or with me. <laughs> You just want to try absolutely every flavor. And yeah, you could get a little spoonful, but at some point you're going to have to pick one or two flavors and stick with it, right? So that's what I figured we would do today. I'm going to try to get as many flavors from this lovely, delicious palette as I can. Um, but we are going to create one look. Happy to come back in future videos and do more looks for you princesses. But I figured, hey, we're gonna have to choose. Look at this palette. It gives me the feeling, do you remember when Natasha Denona released her Metropolis palette? Do you remember how awe-inspiring it was? And this is not, I'm not saying this is the same color scheme, but it gives me that same excitement, that same, oh my goodness, where do I start? Look, take a look at this princesses up close. Look at these colors. Look at these choices. How can you ever decide? Well, we're going to today. I'm going to come back in just a Jeff with nothing on my eyes. And we are going to do the look that you see right here before you. And if you want some swatches, don't you worry. I'm going to put in some really good ones at the very end of the video. So those of you who really want to study the swatches, just stick around for that afterwards. But right now I'm going to come back and we're going to recreate this look that you see right here with Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace's Tiny Marvels palette. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm pretty excited here. <sighs> What am I going to do? One look, it's kind of a lot of pressure. Okay, let's see. Well, hmm, let's start with the web. I, you know, I like to go in with just a nice, subtle little look. So we're starting right here with web. And I'm just going to go in. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a shimmer shade, but I just want to put it all over the eyes and be a little shimmery. And also, I haven't really set this. I just have a little bit of concealer. Okay. Now we can have a little bit more fun. By the way, I have my Wayne Goss brushes out today in tribute to Mel and Wayne, um, who have, of course, worked together quite a bit lately. So I wanted to do a little tribute there. Let's do hmm, tree hopper, like a little froggy tree hopper, a little grasshopper. These are fun, these names. I'm just kind of putting this in here in the crease. And again, I haven't planned any of this, princesses. I'm just kind of doing it as I go along and as it occurs to me. Uh, the shadows are of course behaving just like we expect from Sydney Grace, who is really makes the dreamiest, most beautiful palettes. And I think I'm gonna take, actually I have a little refer brush here too, a number, a number three refer brush. I'm gonna take that same shade tree hopper and just go all the way under and so far I just have just kind of really a basic plain kind of look we're gonna get more fun though oh boy what should we do let's do a little bit of flutter by just kind of on the sides I'm gonna put a little deepen at the corner here I'm trying to use quite a few colors since I've now, ripped myself into doing one look. I better make it good, huh? So we have Flutter By here. I'm just kind of 
you know, these, these colors are so creamy and dreamy and pretty that you can just kind of, you know, you can go to town and just kind of layer them and mix them and nothing's going to ever look muddy or bad. So, so far, just a little bit, you know, I mean, I'll clean it up a little, obviously, but because you know me, I go so quickly. Oh boy, what should we do? Let's, oh, I gotta have to do it, this mantis color. Wow, it's so pretty, this mantis, this green mantis color. Oh, where should we put it? Should we just put it here on the lid? Oh my goodness, princesses, it is so pretty and so creamy. I'm a really, oh my gosh, look, it's so pretty. And I love the way it just kind of mixes. It just kind of mixes in with the Flutterby. Oh wow, it's pretty. I'm just, in fact, it's so pretty that I'm darkening it up. Cause you know, like I said, I've wrote myself into this like one look. Um, so I'm gonna make it good. And I wanna go, I wanna take that um, refer number three brush and just go under with that green because I'm loving it. And when I mix the green with, what was it, tree hopper that we had under there before, it's kind of making it a little bit yellow almost. If you look, kind of a lime green color, it's kind of combining to be, I wanna do something sparkly. Ooh, fire butts. Have you ever caught, have you ever caught fireflies, princesses? They do have little fire butts, don't they? They sure do. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This palette makes me happy. <laughs> you know, there's something about makeup that's just transformative. I mean, when it's fun and when you're happy and when you just feel pretty, there's just something about makeup that's just so transforming. And now that I've put this over the green, um, you know, and I know I need to clean it up a little bit, princesses, but when I zoom you in, you'll see, you can see the green through it. So it gives kind of a green cast. Look at that. I mean, so in other words, these colors are really mixing together. I'm holding the palette. That's why I'm kind of sitting funny. But these colors are mixing together in this beautiful way that's just kind of giving this iridescence. I hope that that's coming across this kind of beautiful golden iridescence where the, all those colors that I've layered are all kind of playing a part. Whoa, so pretty. Let me put on a little bit of liner and then come right back. This is beautiful, I'm so excited. I'm back with my finished look after a little bit of eyeliner, Pat McGrath eyeliner and Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I have what I think is an absolutely super beautiful, fun look. Thank you so much, Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace for putting this together. I love the way these shadows blend and kind of um, become transparent on top of one another. And it just feels like every color that I used, which was what, about four or five different colors, become just meld into something different. They all show and show through and it's really unique and nothing becomes muddied. I feel like it just makes these iridescence almost. It's a lovely, lovely palette. Uh, don't worry again if it sold out before you could get it. There is a wait list now for the restock and I highly recommend it. You could simply never run out of combinations. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got your hands on one or if you are on the list uh, for the restock. Um, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned if you want to see some more in-depth swatches because I'm going to stick them right here and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Top row of the palette, we have Web Tree Hopper. You can barely see that. It's about the color of my skin. Fire Butts two of which we use today, actually. Walking stick and this insanely cool duo, trio, quadruple chrome, I don't know, just amazing, we'll call it, scarab. So take a look at those. That is the top row of the palette. Second row of the palette, we have Flutterby, followed by BB, this tremendously beautiful gold color, followed by Mantis, which we used in today's video. Meadowhawk, this gorgeous, gorgeous glimmering Meadowhawk, and Lovebug, 
that really pretty lavender color. That is the second row of the palette. Third and final row of the palette, we have this lovely violet called Jewel Bee, followed by Marvel, Death Moth, woo, Bugaboo, and finally the last shade in the palette, Spider, with a Y, that is the third row and final row of the palette.